This is the introduction to the ESD3000 from EMC Partners. This is the inside of the case of the ESD3000. It will come with a full calibration report, the ESD gun itself, the module, AA batteries, rechargeable. AC plug. Charger. Ground cable. Ground clip. A round tip for air discharge. A pointy tip for contact. And a cable for programming and uploading firmware to the ESD gun itself. The controls of the ESD gun is located in the front in the blue section panel. The plus and minus is for polarity change as shown. Hit it once, it will change the polarity. Hit it once again, it will switch over. For voltage, use the meter button. Hit it once, it will activate. Hit it again, it will do increments of 2 kV per selection or higher. If you want to increase or decrease at a lower rate, use the up and down arrow keys. Once you've selected the proper voltage, hit enter. The next step is discharge, which is either you're using air or contact. And to make the change, just hit enter, and it'll switch over. Enter again, and it'll switch back. Arrow down to the next selection, which is trigger. Select enter to change from auto to manual. Arrow down to next selection, repetition rate, hit enter to activate the screen and you can use the arrow keys to increase or decrease your repetition rate. Once you have it selected, hit enter, your selection is deactivated and you can scroll down to your next screen. Number of pulses, same situation, hit enter to activate the selection and use the arrow keys to go up or down until your proper number is selected. Once the number is selected, you hit enter and your selection has been uh, activated. Now if you arrow down, there's more selections. You have count mode, discharge, meaning that it will only count when the module discharges. If you hit enter, uh, yeah, the other option is all, meaning if the gun discharges or not, it will count it as a pulse. Hit enter again, and it goes back to discharge, meaning it will only count during a, when the module actually discharges. Arrow down, The next option is ramps. If you hit the enter button, it will take you into the ramp function. Right now none is selected. If you hit the enter button, it will switch over to polarity. This means that after X amount of uh, pulses, it will switch polarity. Right now it's set to 1, but you can arrow down, select enter again, and you can change the number of pulses before it will change polarity. Like in this example, we've selected five pulses. So after every five pulses, it will switch polarity. The other ramp function available instead of polarity, if you go back, 
hit enter again, you have levels. Scroll down and you can select, you can start at a certain level and after every pulse you can increase to a certain level. Hit enter, you can scroll down the number of pulses. So in this example, you will start at 2 kV and after every two pulses you would increase to 0.5. If you want to change the start voltage, you hit enter and use the up and down arrow keys to select the voltage you want to start at. The step function is the same way. Arrow down, hit enter, and with the arrow keys you can select how quickly or how the amount you want to increase the voltage. The other option that the uh, ESD3000 comes with are setups. If you select enter, this, the setups meaning it has capability of storing specific programs onto the ESD gun so you don't have to reprogram your gun every time. If you select enter, there are up to nine locations available to store specific programs. The ESD gun can be run co completely on the rechargeable AA batteries. The icon on the left, as shown, shows the level of power that the batteries have. If you need to charge them, you can just plug in the charger onto the bottom. When it's plugged in, the icon disappears, meaning that the ESD gun is running on main power. The ESD3000 will detect any module, meaning you do not have to tell the ESD gun what module is plugged in. Once you plug it in, it, it's pre-programmed to understand which module is, is actually plugged in. Locate the notch, place thumb on notch, and push outward. That will release the ESD module, and you can replace it with a different module. To put in the module, Locate guide on module, notch on ESD gun, place, push, push in firmly until all the way in, then retighten thumb screw. To do a air discharge demo, place the gun in air discharge at 16 kV for multiple repetitions. Once that's programmed in, hit the run button, the LED will start flashing, then hit the trigger, the ESD gun will charge and be ready. Make sure to have your ground cable connected to the bottom of the ESD gun, and then slowly hit go towards the tip of the air discharge tip. You will see spark. Always make sure to go slowly in towards it. That concludes our demonstration of the ESD 3000. Yeah.